What's up guys? Ashley Bornanson here with the Red Carpet Report. We're here in Beverly Hills at the 17th Annual PRISM Awards. What are the PRISM Awards? They honor real life depictions of mental illness and substance abuse in television and film. Hello. Nice Ashley, to nice you. to meet you Hi, too. How are you? We have her in the light, perfect. So Danielle, you have a show that's about to premiere soon. Can you tell me about that? Oh my gosh, yes. It's called Family Tools. It's on ABC Wednesday nights at 8.30 between the middle and modern family. So kind of the best time slot ever. <laughs> hey, that's pretty amazing. Good way to start a show. <laughs> Can't complain about the time slot at all. And it's really funny. It's actually kind of a fantastic bridge between the middle and modern family. It's got the sort of very family, like eight o'clock hour essence of the middle okay. with the really weird, quirky, odd characters of, of Modern Family, yeah. Well, tell me about your character on the show. My character is sort of the girl next door that grew up with our lead guy, Jack, who ultimately may or may not be his official love interest. But um, oh, I'm a little sneak peek. I love it. <laughs> There's a little kissing that happens. Might be with him, might not. Um, but she's sort of um, everything that she doesn't look like. Like she's the girl that J.K. Simmons calls to help take the engine block out of his car because his son couldn't possibly do it. Okay. Yeah. So she's like cute but hardcore. Yeah. Like I am the toughest dude on the show. All I love that. That's sick. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what we need to see, though. Instead of these it. girls being portrayed as little like. I don't know. Exactly. You know? Yeah. No, you like you think that she's sort of this neither here nor there girl who like works in a hardware store and it turns out that she's super smart, speaks Chinese, and can totally break down and rebuild any house she walks in. Can you speak Chinese? Just in the episode that we did. Hey, I mean that's more than I can, so I'm working really hard on Spanish right now. As soon as I get fluent on that one, then I'll move on to Chinese. Okay, cool. I'm trying to learn Italian since I'm Italian, so Perfect. I know a little. I'm telling you, the classes are hard. So, okay, so what brought you to the PRISM Awards tonight? Tell me about what it means to you. Um, well, they asked me to present tonight, and I think it's probably because I have, uh, there, my, my mother suffered from mental illness and also had a substance abuse problem. She's sober now. She's doing great. Um, but I think they asked me to participate just because I'm somebody who grew up around these issues, and I feel like I do a disservice to other people who come from a similar background to me to not talk openly about it yeah. because it's such it's it's such a shame issue and it's something that when you're growing up in it you don't want to be different and you don't want to be ostracized and you keep it to yourself and you have this like other world that exists in your house yeah. that doesn't exist in the rest of your life. I completely understand. So you know it's something that I try to be open about and not carry that shame into adulthood you know. Yeah it sounds good. Keep representing. Good luck on your show and have fun presenting today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do fine. Bye. Wow, wasn't that inspiring? It's nice to see Hollywood taking on these big issues. If you like this video, be sure to like it, and for more interviews, subscribe. Have a good night.